Hey lovies, you just tuned in to one of my looks for my 12 days of glamorous makeup and outfit combos. I hope you enjoy. Stay tuned. Okay lovies, starting with a clean and moisturized face, I'm going over my NYX No Filter Primer. And now I'm going over my Winter Shade from the Fenty Beauty Collection, in shade 380. And then I'm going to contour with the MAC Shade Trio in the shades Caramel and Toffee. Starting out with my contour shade, I'm going to use toffee just to sculpt up my face to give a little bit of structure, nothing too crazy. And for this look, it does call for a little bit of a lighter brow, so I went on my NYX 3-in-1 pencil in the shade Caramel. It's super pigmented and I don't have to dye my brows. And to do a light fill-in, I'm going on with the NYX powder pencil in the shade Soft Brown, just to give a little bit of structure and shape. And then going in with my Caramel Matchstick from Fenty Beauty. I'm just doing a light conceal just to highlight the face. And then I'm going in with my favorite concealer, LA Girls Far, just to scope out my brows to give a nice clean shape and de definition. And to set my under eye, I'm going with the NYX No Filter Powder in the shade Golden. And then to set the perimeter of my face, I'm going in with my NYX Stay Matte Not Flat in the shade Deep Golden. Now for the eyes. Dip it into my Juvia's Place palette. I'm going into the color Burkina. And to follow up my transition shade, I'm going in with the color Carrier. And going into my crease, I'm using the color Ada. Just to give a little bit more definition, I like to layer in those warmer tones just so my eye doesn't get too closed up. And to follow my other crease tone, I'm going into the shade Calabar just to close off the eye and to bring in that inner warmth tone. And then I'm going into Calabar again with the shade Chai just to get a little bit of the darker warmth to the eye. And I love that combination because it brings out that purpley burgundy color. And now I'm going back into the shade Ada with a flat brush and I'm taking it all over the center of my lid. And then the, the color Dahala. I'm taking it into my brow bone area just to give a slight highlight and it's so pretty because it's just a pearlized gold color. Now I'm going into my Fenty Beauty Galaxy palette. I'm going into the shade Milky Way and I'm taking it only into the center of my lid and I feel like with these shadows using your finger gives off more pigmentation and then with the shade Ozone I'm just layering it right in the center and then taking that leftover product that's on my previous brush from the Julius Place palette and back into ozone and just popping it on the bottom center of my eye just to give my lash line a little bit more definition and then to line my lids I'm going with my gel liner from NYX Cosmetics just to give myself a slight wing
And for mascara, I'm going in with my Maybelline Big Shot Mascara by Favorite. And now for the lipstick cocktail, I'm going with the NYX Lip Lip Pencil in the shade Burgundy, just to sculpt out the lips. And I love this color because it gives really good definition to any berry tone that I choose. And go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Zurich, just to complete that good ombre. And just because this is a holiday look, I figured let's give a little highlight to the lips. So going in with my NYX in your Element Lipstick from the Metal Collection. I'm using the color Metallic Gold just to get a little highlight to the center of the lip. And then to top off my lips, I'm going with the Fenty Beauty Cosmic Gloss in the shade Astro Naughty. And I almost forgot for my blush, I'm using my NYX Ombre and the shade Code Breaker just to get that cute little flush baby doll approach to the cheeks. And of course, I had to get my highlights all the way together, so I'm using my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt and Trophy Wife. Now for my hair, I wanted to keep it really simple, but that effortless, really teased out, floofy hair like that 80s unnecessary montage hair. And this, of course, is my unit from Ava Wigs. I've ordered the same unit in the same style, and I literally dyed each one. This is the one that I colored blonde that you've seen in previous videos. And I just fluffed it out with a wide tooth comb, hit it up from the ends all the way up to the base, and then sprayed it with a little bit of water to get more definition with the curl. And here's the final look. My inspiration for this came from playing with the ugly sweater idea. Obviously, we're going to all of those fun holiday parties, and if you're going to wear an ugly sweater, I'd rather my beat be popping and my hair just be effortless. And, you know, you just look like a little quirky with your hair all wild and free and curly. So the theme of this is ugly sweater chic. I got the sweater from Buffalo Exchange in the city. Nothing too crazy. I thought it went with that kitschy acid wash 80 situation to go with the hair. So regular simple jeans from From 21. The jacket right now is from from 21 plus and the first stall I actually got from Lotless. Don't judge me, okay? I thought it was kind of cute. And then I also showed you the option of without the pink stall, the green that came with the jacket. So comment down below which one would you rather see together? The light pink first stall or the green? And just a simple way to, you know, beef up the look, give it a little bit of edge. Because I know if it was an ugly sweater party, I don't want to look super corny, but you know, you do what you can. Anyway, so lovies, I hope you enjoyed this look for my 12 Days of Glamis holiday series. Be sure to stay tuned to the rest of the videos, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to see more tutorials, hauls, and videos from me. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later, lovies. Don't forget to subscribe to see more tutorials, hauls, and videos from me. And oh yeah, check out my latest video.